Hey everybody, we're playing some Pokemon X here. We we're in the frozen cavern, frosted cavern. Yeah. And we just got to this Obama Snow with Team Flare, so let's do this. Let's catch a Swiftly and get out of here. Um, why don't I catch it? Hey. Hey, you Pokeball thieves, what are you doing here? What does it look like? We're catching Pokemon. Why else would we we, we have grabbed all those Pokeballs? If it was also we could catch powerful Pokemon like this Obama Snow, it's full of potent energy. You're not the brightest, are you? Whoever has the most Pokemon and the most energy will come out on top. Lazy people who just wait for things to be handed to them don't get don't get to have these resources. But why is Team Flare amassing Pokemon energy and money? To put it another way, why is Team Flare always trying to take everything for itself? Let me to spell it out for you. It's so Team Flare and only Team Flare can survive. After all, why should we care about saving people who aren't on our side? Anyway, I don't mind a healthy curiosity, but I'm afraid I just don't have time anymore. Big D. Did they say only Team Flare will survive? These people have a few loose screws. You two, hurry up and send these kids packing. Alright. Um, let's do it, I guess. I mean, if you really, really want to fight, we can do it, but probably not going to end very well. Oh, what do you got? Gold Bat? What's your other one? Oh, wait. Oh, we're not doing a double battle? I thought we were doing a double battle. Lame. Alright, well, I'm going to Thunderbolt you out of the sky, bud. <laughs> dead. What's your second one? Is there also something I can thunder out of the sky? Rock a rock the 35. Oh, main, main trick. Well, that one I can actually surf on. Alright, pull out a surf. Bonk. There we go. Starmie. Yep, there we go. XP share. Among Us to 41. How, how do you think it could reverse time? Okay, whatever. Shut up. Give me your money. I may have lost, but isn't this Winter Wonderland beautiful? Almost as beautiful as Team Flare Pose. Hmm, you're more powerful than you look. I wonder how much energy there is inside you. You're challenged by Team Flare Mabel. Once again, like six spectacles, man, but... I don't know what's with like the color scheme and the hairdo. I think it's kind of lame, not gonna lie. Alright, Hound Doom. You're gonna get surfed upon. Sucks for you, but oh well. Bonk. Alright. EB to level 29. Nope. We don't need charm here. No, just too strong. Give me your money. Hmm, I have no patience for losing. Let's get out of here. Doesn't battling with Team Flare scare you, Big D? I'll admit it scares me. I don't like battling them, but we managed to protect Obama Snow by pitching it here. I know I'm the reserve type, and I'm okay with that, but it's important to be bold when necessary. Mamma Swine doesn't have to worry about Obama Snow anymore, and that's what matters. All's well that ends well. Now, question is, am I going to be an absolute wiener and try to catch this myself? Obama Snow White? Cool. Okay. I'm guessing this is not a catchable Pokemon. Alright. I won't catch you. That's fine. I could totally just like lob a ball at it right now, but whatever. Hey! You got a horde of Vanillites. Okay. That is one of the horde Pokemon. So, yes, I will go ahead and do that. Um. I don't know. have the last vanilla let's go ahead and chuck an ultra ball at it let's see how many of these it's gonna take hopefully not too many 
Hey, first one. All right. Vanilla being an absolute homie. All right, so now we just need two other horde, the Smoochum and the Cub Chew. The temperature of their breath is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. They create snow crystals and make snowfall in the areas around them. I like Vanillite. I know when this generation came out, people like specifically targeted Vanillite as like, um, as like an example of them losing their creativity. But I'm actually not a part of that. I I definitely I like Vanillite. I think it's a it's a nice Pokemon. Now the question is, oh lord, I did it again. Why did I do it again? Okay, maybe we can find one, one more new Pokemon. A hey, Bergmite. Okay, that is something that we do not have. I will definitely take it. So let's instantly just start chucking balls at it here. Yeah, so I think we got the Jinx, the Bear Tick, the Bergmite. We have Haunter, so we just need the Cryagonal and the Pilos, Piloswine. Piloswine. And then obviously the two Horde Pokemon. And then let me quickly double check. Is there anything we can fish for? Doesn't... Um, there is, but none of it's new. Thank you. Alright, there we go. Bergman was caught. You'll love to see it. It blocks opponent's attacks with the ice that shields his body. It uses cold air to repair any cracks in the ice. Very cool. Alright. Oh. Wait, no, that's the way, like, back up. Where is this? Where? Alright. Hey, we'll take... Hey, people swine. There we go. I was like, I will take a new Pokemon, though. That's something I will never mind. All right, well, we can grab this while we're here. Just gonna Ultra Ball at it. Bonk, bonk. Hey, will it just be nice? Look at that. People swine on its absolute best behavior. You, you love to see it. All right, Clauncher to 37. Although its legs are short, its rugged hooves prevent it from slipping, even on icy ground. Very nice. Our shiny clauncher is finally evolving. Look at that. It's been a little minute. I accidentally kept killing the clauncher, so it kept like not being able to get levels. And that is a fourth Pokemon that we can swap out of the box so we can get something new in. Very cool. There we go. Got ourselves whatever this thing is called. Clawitzer. Very nice. Totally not just a ripoff of Kingler, but hey, whatever. Who am I to say? Okay, where is this? Oh, I didn't realize I could surf here. Okay. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. There's, there's nothing that we actually need from surfing, right? No, I think it's just Floatzel. Yeah, it's just Poliwhirl and Floatzel. Now, I could probably grab a Poliwhirl just to have a high-level Poliwhirl, but... Eh. Maybe I'll throw, like, a Netball at it and call it a day, but... Okay, what's over here? Is this? Ah, yes, okay, this is the rock. The rock that we needed. So we're gonna stay here and kill stuff until Eevee can evolve, and then we get ourselves a Glaceon, which is kind of cool. So, um, wait, what's effective again? Is Power Gym effective? Okay, here we go. Our Eevee evolved to 30, so there we go. And that's what we were looking for. So I think now we're literally just looking for that Cryagonal, and we're kind of good here. So we got, we got all of those. Got all those. Okay, we just need to smooch them and the cub chew. Alright, we're still okay, so yeah, we're still looking for the smooch them and cub chew technically. But Hmm. 
Yeah. Well, anyway, back to our main goal here. Hey, we got a Glaceon, which is kind of cool. I like Glaceon. Um. All right. Well, let's go ahead and Hyper Potion our Starmie. And we're, there's still a couple Pokemon we're looking for. And obviously, I'm not going to leave until I get them. So... I'm probably just going to shut up until I find them, and then we'll talk when we find them. Alright, there it is. There is the Cryagonal. Alright, let's go and throw some Ultra Balls. Alright, so the only two we need is Kupchu and Smoochum. Um... Ooh, is it going to be nice too? Nah, of course it's not going to be nice. Um... So we'll have to come back with... Our home B, sadly. But it's alright. Got a lot of Pokemon to put away, so. Alright, well, it's gonna be one of those, huh? Let me go ahead and get my phone out. I'll open up Reddit. I'm just gonna keep hitting the Ultra Ball button and we'll get it eventually, right? One of these times it'll stay in the ball. Balls at it, but we made we made it eventually. And Cryagonal stuff was added to the decks. They are born in snow clouds. They use chains made of ice crystals to capture prey. Very sad, very weird. Alright, let's get out of here. Um now we do have to actually come back though because I just need to grab my combi very, very quickly. Okay, there we go. There is the cup chew. And then now we just need the other one. You smooch him. Its nose is always running its tips to snot back up because the mucus provides a raw material for moves. And I also just realized I think we might have left the last place we were at a little prematurely, and I think I might have forgot to catch a few things. So we'll have to go back. Um, but let's go ahead and catch Smoochum first, and then we'll worry about that after. All right, there we go. The Smoochum was caught after a stupidly, stupidly long battle of sleeps and confusion. We got it. So we have officially caught all of the Pokemon in this stupid cave. Its lips are the most sensitive part of its body. It always uses its lips first to examine things. Doesn't sound like a particularly good idea, bud, but sure, fair enough. Okay. We actually need to quickly go back to the Shaking Hotel because um, we missed three Pokemon, Rotom, Trubbish, and Garbodor in the Shaking areas. All right, actually, Psych. Um, so there are a couple Pokemon that we're missing. The problem is they're in these trash cans and apparently these trash cans only shake on Tuesdays. Today is not a Tuesday. So, um... Actually, we'll just have to come back, I guess. So we can really, we can just kind of move on to Route 17 here. And there's not many Pokemon on Route 17, but the ones that are there are all new. So that's pretty cool. Um, so. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way into Route 17 here. Can you give me anything? Okay, maybe not. Okay, what does 17 look like? Ooh, there's trainers here? I think there's just one trainer. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, just stop talking. <laughs> All right, we can ride a mammal swine. That's pretty cool. Ooh, there's a lot of snow. Okay. There's a few Pokemon we need to get, though. All right, first one. The most common spawn, Belly Bird. Ooh, I like how Stormy looks in this light. Um, actually, let's go ahead and hit it with something. We hit it with a Thunderbolt. Will it kill it? I hope it doesn't. Yeah, I kind of assumed it would. That's all right, because the Deli Bird's a 40%, so that's fine. Um, yeah, th that would only be bad if we hit the Bomb of Snow, which is the 1% in this area, so... Oh, actually, I can probably smash those rocks over there. All right, there's another Deli Bird. Let's go ahead and I won't hit this one just because I will kill it. Let's start chucking Ultra Balls, huh? Probably the easiest way to do this. Hey, look at that. Billy Bird wanted to be an absolute sweetheart and uh, not take too long. Which is good. Alright, it's Theravia 27. It carries food rolled up in its tail and has a habit of sharing food with people lost in the mountains. Very cool, Deli Bird. Very cool of you. Our Deli Bird to box three. There we go. Bink. I have to smash both rocks. Bink. Um. Okay. Is there like a. Oh, I'm guessing the mammoth mine can't get through, right? Okay. Let's go on our own. Let's see. Do I have to pull out the stupid device? No? Okay, found a timer ball. Okay, not very cool, but fair enough. And an icicle plate, all right. Very cool. That's all we probably need over here, so we can jump back on the mammal swine here. Just gonna put that away. Because we're still gonna need to look for Snowverse Neasel and Obama Snow. Top of our ride. No, I didn't mean to get off. My bad. Get back on. Alright, man, my swine. The absolute unit. Come on, give me something new. Other than a freaking... Oh, wait, this is new. I don't know why I assumed it was a deli bird. It's a snowbird. It is new. Alright. Very cool. So, here's what we could do. We could just catch the Snowbird and then evolve it. Wait, when does Snowbird evolve? Snowbird evolution level 40. Okay. Well, then there's no reason to catch the Obama Snow. Because this thing evolves in literally a single level. Okay, well, then. During cool season, it migrates to the mountains. Mountains lower reaches, it returns to the snow covered summit in the spring. Okay, well, I'm not gonna even bother then to catch that Obama snow because there's really not particularly a reason to do so. Is this the exit? I think that's the exit here. Okay, well, we just gotta look for Sneasel then. Once we find Sneasel, we're kind of good to go. Okay, there is the Sneasel. Last one to catch. Let's go and start chucking Ultra Balls at it. And hopefully it won't cause me too much trouble here. Ooh, okay, this one's gonna cause me a lot of trouble. Time to pull out Reddit. And time to chill. You, you 
doing bad things. Don't do that. There we go. Sneasel was caught. Pancham 18. Dodo 18. It feeds on eggs stolen from Nessa's sharply hooked claws. Okay, that's slightly disturbing. It just kills baby things. Very interesting. Okay, we dropped off from Ammo Swine. I think we can get out of here, but not for a hollow clip. David, this time I challenge you to a battle in front of Anasar City Gym. Prepare yourself. Alright, well, we're gonna prepare ourselves in the next episode, guys. We're gonna go ahead and end it here. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, got a few good episodes in tonight. Time for me to go to sleep. I'll see you guys later.